Josh, how are you doing? Right, well thanks for making the time to come and discuss today's schedule. I know you've been a bit slack, I've been a bit slack as well, I'm sorry about that. But I get the feeling that generally you don't like to go through all the preparatory daily schedule stuff. You like to just sort of make it up as you go, right? Is that, is that fair? When you've got an idea in your head what you want to happen, you just make it happen. Sometimes things get a bit busy and we have to write it down. Today is a busy day, okay? So as your personal assistant, it's my duty to make sure that we go through all the items on the agenda for today, okay? And uh, nothing gets left out because, well, you'll, you'll give me the, the hassle for it. I'll feel like an idiot and what have you. I'm sure you won't be happy. So, first things first. We've not got any early appointments. <coughs> Which is good, because I know how you hate that. The first one is with Tommy at 10 o'clock. He wants to update you on what happened last week upstate with, uh, with the guy. No, the, the other guy. Yep, so he's going to... I'll let him explain it to you, okay? I, it would be better if... Well, well I mean, I, I could give you the basic version. Um, let's just say that... Uh, Tommy? It worked out. He took care of the problem, but there was a witness. There was a witness, yeah. So, he has to go and then take care of that one. I mean, look, I think it'd be better if he explained it to you, okay, boss? I've got him down from 9 a.m. to 9.30. Uh, sorry, 10 a.m. to 10.30. And to be honest, I don't think it'll even take that long. Right, I mean, you can decide what you want to do at that point. Um, we're going to break, and I've got um, Starbucks are actually going to deliver, because I don't think I'm going to make it to the store in time. So I've actually got them to deliver, if that's okay. <coughs> they promised me it'd be nice and hot, not like last time. There is a new employee there after the incident two weeks ago, when there was a bit of a scene. Uh, so they did fire them. Um, and they're, they're now gone. Uh, there's a new employee there who's going to be delivering it. Did you want to talk to them? About, you know, when they come in, did you want to go, Hey, listen, this is what we expect from Starbucks. Uh, Maybe tell them what happened to the last person. Or do you want, do you want me to do it? I can do it if you want. Okay. Cool. Now, I haven't actually put the order in. Did you want to have the caramel macchiato with the extra cream? Or are you watching? I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, do you want the extra cream or not? You do, okay. Extra cream. Good, good. Okay, so that'll be after your meeting with Tommy, right? I got your dry cleaning uh, last night. I was gonna get it this morning, but I decided to get it last night. Well, I was, well, I was passing. And uh, based on what happened the other night with your suit, I know there were a couple of wee stains because I know you get passionate sometimes. You get a wee bit passionate about your work and certain things happen. And uh, I don't know if you noticed, but there was a stain 
on your jacket. And you know, we can trust a dry cleaner, he's cool. He's like, we've been using him for years, so we know he's fine. But I figured if I'm going to pick it up during the day, if there's other customers in there, I wanted to just talk to him and go, listen, did you manage to get the stain out like properly? Or is it like, what's, what's the deal here? Anyway, the good news is the stain's out. Uh, but I spoke to him last night just before closing. It was just me and him and uh, very discreet. So, but don't do it again, okay? Don't do it again. I'm just joking, but try not to do it again though, because um, <clears throat> getting the blood out can, yeah, can be a pain in the arse. So, um, got your dry cleaning in the car actually, it's all in this, so it's fine, it's not crushed or anything in those bags, it's all hanging up. Bring that up later, 10.30. We do need to talk to um, Stevie because, um, well, okay, let, let's put it this way. I sent him out last week with some petty cash uh, to go to the hardware store to buy some shovels. All right, he bought some shovels and then he called me up. Uh, when was it? Oh, it was last night. He called me up last night to complain not to complain, but you know, you know how Stevie likes a good winch. That of the six shovels he bought, three of them are already broken. And I said to him, what, what's the story? He's like, well, you know, when you're out there shoveling, you know, you get a lot of, a lot of use on these shovels you wear after a week. Um, and I was like, I bet shovels don't normally break after a week kind of shovels did you buy? Anyway, Stevie was trying to be smart and save some money and bought the cheapest, nastiest crap that he could. So he did that. Um, I, I told him what you said to me before is he didn't have to buy the most expensive shovels, but then he buy the cheap ones. So I'm gonna, well, yeah, we can call him right now if you want. Yeah, let's do it. We've got time. Let's see. <clears throat> Stevie. Yeah, it's me. Um, listen, I'm here with the boss and uh, we we're just having a wee chat about... <laughs> yeah, having a wee chat about the shovels. Um... Listen, <laughs> we gave you the money, you bought the shovels, you bought crap shovels, and now, there you go. We need you to go back and get some more, get the good ones this time, alright? Get the good ones this time, I didn't. Like the boss said, you don't have to get the most expensive, just get decent ones, ones that you, know, you might be able to dig, I don't know several holes before you end up oh Christ I've got to buy a new shovel right so yeah I'm sorry I'm sorry you need me to give you more how much money was left over from the last purchase right here quiet quiet quiet, quiet. here's what you're going to do Here's what you're going to do. Stevie, listen. Take the money that's left over from the last purchase, right? And you can make up the difference on your own. How's that for a plan? Do you, do you want to talk to the boss? Do you want to talk to the boss? The boss is right here. The boss is right here. The bo okay, all right, there you go. That's better. You can pay the difference, all right? And that way I'll teach you a wee lesson. Buy decent shovels next time. I'll talk to you later, Stevie. Bye. Thank you, God. Thank you, got the message. So, <clears throat> so that's shovels. Uh, yeah, quality. 
it, we've got to get at least something half decent, like, you know. Also, um, like, back before I was doing this job, I mean, before you promoted me, um, you know, I dug a few holes, man, that's back-breaking work. You need to have a nice, comfortable, ergonomically designed shovel for that work. So that's Stevie. Um, right. Mad Polly. God. I don't know what to do with this guy. So, he made a scene at a restaurant. At Harry's restaurant. The other night. Now, he doesn't know that you... I don't think he knows that you recently took over as a part owner of that restaurant. So, he made a scene, embarrassed himself. And I I heard about it and then I, I phoned him uh, this morning early. He, was a bit grumpy uh, and told him that you're not probably going to be particularly happy with him for embarrassing him, not just himself but you because you're yeah well everybody's talking about it so yeah I wanted to see what you thought about what we could do with Mad Polly um, now we do have an opening this afternoon after lunch at one thirty, do you want me to phone him and see if we can get him in? Get him in for one thirty, maybe half at one thirty till two. Would that work? Would that be okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. Do you really want to do that? Okay. Who do you want to do it? Or you can do it yourself. Okay, you're going to do... You're going to take care of that. Right. In that case... Let me just call... Let me just call Stevie back really quick. <coughs> okay. Just for the show. Stevie. Um... You need to go out and get those shovels now. We're going to need one this afternoon. We're going... Yes. Yes. We're going to need one this afternoon. And you, my friend, get the honour of using it for the first time. I told you you should have bought the right ones in the first place. I mean, what do you want me to tell you? What do you want me to tell you? Right. What are you doing right now? No. What are you doing right now? Uh, uh, uh. What are you doing right now? That's right. You're getting in your car. You're going to the hardware store. You're going to buy the shovels. We need to have one of those shovels and at least bring, you know what, bring two of them because I don't trust you in case one of them breaks. Bring two of them round to the back and we'll put them in the van, but I'm going to need them by about 2 p.m., okay? In fact, bring them before 2 p.m. Good man. Good man. Yeah, you're finally getting it. You're finally getting it. Oh, hey, Stevie, one more thing. <laughs> Just hang up on the bastard. Right, so, um, we'll get that shovel from Stevie. We'll get Stevie to do it. We'll get him to drive out to the desert oh that's the other thing i've talked to you about i was talking to your um real estate agent <clears throat> peggy yeah she's the good one and she said she can get us a deal on some land very soft ground it's far away from other property lines yeah, it's just in the foothills. Because that last one you got and the places we've been using are very rocky. So we have a bit more, a uh, bit more of a hard time getting through the rocks and that, you know. And digging a hole. Yeah, it's one thing to dig a hole in the soft desert. It's another thing to, yeah, in the foothills. Um, 
desert is a bit oppressive at this time of year anyway, so I'd like to give us the option. Anyway, Peggy said there's about 17 acres going in foothills. Um, what was the price? Uh, 2.4 for 2.4 yeah I wanted to see what you thought <clears throat> not paying 2.4 she said it's normal on market it would go for about 3 but she always promised you first refusal otherwise <laughs> right um, I want to keep it in, in the good books so I think 1.6 might be a little bit of a low, low ball I wonder if maybe we could offer a 2.1, 2.2, what do you think? Right, you're the boss, you're the boss. Two, two. Okay, I won't call her, I'll just tell her. Two, and we'll buy it, okay? Right, well, we'll not buy it, you'll buy it. <laughs> I don't have that kind of money. Well, unless you start promoting me a wee bit more, right? I can always keep my fingers crossed. Anyway, um, right, so that's Tommy, Stevie, Mad, Polly, and Peggy. Right. <clears throat> that's it. That's it for today. Really? Yeah. Is there anything you want specific for this evening, uh, dinner wise? Did you want to just take care of? yourself uh, did you need me to get your ticket somewhere reservation somewhere no okay i know how you get a bit of an appetite after taking care of business especially with paul he's quite a big guy so you might you might exert yourself a wee bit more um did you need me to have a look at the silencer, the suppressor. Why oh, are you going to use a Garrett? Okay, oh, even better. Don't worry, you. you've got one. You've got one in your... Perfect. You're so well prepared. Okay, well, uh, I'll get your dry cleaning brought up to you. I'll take care of Starbucks. Um, we'll be on for our meeting with uh, Tommy at 10. Other than that, let's... Uh, Go out there and have a great day. Okay. Thanks, boss. Thanks, boss. Call me anytime. Anything you need, you know I'm always here. All right.